Good morning. Um, I'm Bernard Lowe. I chair the uh, National Academies of uh, Science, Engineering, and Medicine Committee on uh, identifying research gaps and clinical practice guidelines for prescribing opioids for acute pain. We are hosting this workshop uh, today. This committee has been charged uh, by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration with developing a framework to evaluate the evidence base uh, for uh, existing and future clinical practice guidelines for prescribing opioids for acute pain. Uh, information about the statement of tasks can be found in the handout sheet and on the committee's website, uh, which is uh, referenced here on the screen. I'd like to remind everyone that this public workshop is an information gathering session for the committee. Uh, the committee is in the process of assembling materials that we'll examine and discuss in the course of making its findings, conclusions, and recommendations. Therefore, I ask everyone here today and uh, on the uh, internet uh, to be extremely mindful of the fact that the committee has made no conclusions. It would be a mistake uh, for anyone to leave here thinking today that uh, thinking otherwise. Comments made by individuals, including members of the committee, should not be interpreted uh, as positions of the committee or of the National Academies. Committee members typically ask uh, probing <coughs> questions in these information gathering workshops that may not be indicative of their personal views and certainly not of the ultimate report. The committee will del deliberate thoroughly before writing its final report. <coughs> Moreover, once the report is written, it must go through a rigorous review uh, by experts who are anonymous to the committee, and the committee must respond to those uh, uh, comments, uh, uh, reviews, with appropriate revisions that satisfy the National Academy's Reports Review Committee and the National Academy of Sciences President before it can be accepted as an official Academy's report and released to the public, including released to the FDA. So the goals of this workshop today are first to identify uh, gaps and additional information that may be needed to develop clinical guidelines for specific surgical and medical indications for acute pain. And secondly, to examine the various types of evidence that might be useful for developing evidence-based clinical practice guidelines. We have a number of distinguished speakers, uh, and we're very grateful to them for taking time from their busy schedules to uh, come and share their expertise with us. Uh, their uh, biographies are uh, on the, in the handout out front, and so we're not going to read through their many uh, accomplishments, uh, but refer you to the, the long biographies that are outside. After their presentations, there will be an opportunity for the committee members to, to ask questions. And we look forward to the chance to interact with our, our outside experts. We have an ambitious agenda today. Uh, and in order to accomplish our goals, we will keep uh, to a tight schedule. Uh, in the interest of time, uh, I will ask our panel moderators to simply introduce the speakers by name and affiliation. Uh, and not to read their bios. The committee values uh, input from our participants both here and via our webcast. Uh, therefore, this afternoon, we will have a short public comment period at the end of the uh, session. For those in the room who wish to make uh, uh, comments, we ask that you go to a, a microphone, identify yourself, and limit your comments to no more than two minutes. We encourage those uh, on the webcast to submit written comments uh, by the comment function at the bottom of the, uh, the webcast. Selected comments will be read uh, to the uh, committee as time allows. I also encourage members of the public to submit written comments at any time, and they will be considered by the committee. When making a comment, please identify yourself and your affiliation. I would like to remind all participants that this workshop is public. Uh, it's being recorded and webcast live and will be available publicly uh, as an archive. 
Uh, I would like to begin the uh, workshop by introducing the moderator of our first session, uh, Dr. Mark Bickett, who is Director of uh, Quality and Safety uh, in the uh, Division of Pain Medicine, Assistant Professor of Anesthesiology and Critical Care Medicine uh, at the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. Mark, thanks very much for moderating. 